All dudes, dude S's, thanks for watching today. I really appreciate your support. Look, I've gone, come into the sport from a surfing background and I'll leave you with an interview, a very rare interview with a man that inspired me with his unique style, his direction, his passion, which ran parallel to me and what I did in my life. And I found this to be incredibly inspiring, but also to find out that it was not just me that had this idea of being uniquely my own person and uh yeah i really do think this man is one of the greatest in his sport introducing as i said a very rare interview with the man himself the cat mickey dora during the early days of hot dog surfing there developed a lifestyle destined to spread worldwide a simple free and easy lifestyle before Vietnam, when boards were long and hair was short, the center of the surfing world was a place called Malibu. Malibu, where daring surfers would be seen doing the Malibu hustle and performing unreal maneuvers, like this death-defying El Switcho. The young man in the dark glasses was probably the most influential surfer of this period. His name is Mickey Dora, but he was also known as The Cat. The Cat got his nickname by the quick panther-like moves he displayed in the waves of Malibu, California's classic point break. Other surfers quickly learned that you don't fool around with The Cat. and Malibu, truly the roots of modern day hot dog surfing and a vision of what was yet to come. I was one of the first 20 15 in a row on the North Shore. I don't know. It doesn't make any difference to me. Who's the best in the world? Who's the worst in the world? I don't give a fuck. I don't give a damn. If people want to think I'm any good, fine. If they don't think I'm any good, I don't give a shit. I'm there to ride waves and enjoy myself. It's all emotional and it's release and it's, uh... <laughs> it's me. And that's all I have, my one life. My whole life is this escape, my whole life is this wave I drop into, set the whole thing up, pull out the bottom turn, pull up into it, and shoot for my life, going for broke, man. And behind me, all this shit goes over my back, the screaming parents, teachers, <laughs> screaming teachers, police, priests, politicians, knee boarders, windsurfers, they're all going over the false head first into the reef. Head first in the fucking reef. And I'm shooting for my life, and when it starts to close out, I pull up to the bottom out to the back. And I pick up another one and do the same goddamn thing. systems, communism, capitalism. Nothing influences me. I just go straight ahead in my own thinking. And that's the way I do it. Now, I don't expect anyone to live my life. Why should they? It's pretty lonely. A very lonely, uh, bizarre existence. Scooter Boy I was tied up with four years ago. 
He's the only one ready to go on any trip. My next trip is the Cameroons, islands off the Cameroons. If he doesn't go, I'll go. For me, I can't live in the Northern Hemisphere. I must live back, back in the time where all these animals, all this sea life, all the uh, oysters, shellfish, crustaceans, everything is part of the smell. Everything has to come into the focus of the whole experience. If you don't understand that, you're only, pretend, only a pretender. The whole magnificence of riding waves is that living being, that communication between you and the whole existence of reality on this planet. are getting pushed out and the clones are taking over. Masses of armies of them, pushing, pushing. So where is the individual on any map? He's finished. It's always somebody else. They're not even them. They're somebody else. They're copying somebody else, so they're not them. They're that guy in the video or this uh, motion picture or some magazine. They're pretending to be. The competitive part of it all is uh, a whole different ball game, a whole different camp. What I'm involved with, I don't, I don't even think about it. I don't want to think about it because it des destroys, for me, the whole purpose of riding waves. I don't like uh, noises. I don't like crowds. I don't like um, bullhorns going off. People giving me orders how to ride, how to do certain maneuvers. All this is beyond my comprehension of, of pleasure. Now, what motivates these people is. Uh, I'll never go, I don't to think about it. It has nothing to do with me. But that's their life and that's their direction. Let them go, they probably are the best in the world and all professional athletes are the same. Wow, how fantastic was that for the man himself. Well, I hope you all find your own path, your own passion. Until next time, happy skating, safe skating. We'll see you in the next video.